19.5 degrees, we'll call it 20 degrees just to make it feel better, really. Weatherman says 22 degrees today, my prediction was 26 degrees, well, you know, there's still plenty of day to go and I'm still holding out hope, whereas Barbara's 25, I just have this feeling that maybe we just, uh, yeah, may not get there, you never know. Uh, now, I tell you what, let me do this. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today's feature artist, believe me, you're going to absolutely love this. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, today's feature artists on Galaxy 107 FM. That's right. Gosh, that's got a big tail on it. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. And today's feature artist is Ryan Laird. And it's an absolute pleasure to catch up with our good friend again. Uh, and believe me, it has been a big, big... Well, it, it's been expected. We're going to be releasing a brand spanking new song. But I tell you what, we're adding something this time. Yes, Galaxy 107 FM in New Zealand here is now in association with... Rise Up TV, big record, and of course, we're talking about Sony Music, The Orchard as well. Uh, check this out. Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, big record, and Sony Music, The Orchard. So, this is absolutely fantastic news, it really, really is. Now, let me do this. Got to welcome along everybody that's joining us this morning on Facebook Live. If you get to watch it a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do. Uh, no, you do. Sub, thumb, bell, bingo. You know, yeah, notifications. Don't forget, subscribe. If you like us, yeah, give us a thumbs up as well. You know, because believe, well, notifications, you get told when we have important people. Much like Ryan Laird. And believe me, it's an absolute pleasure to have the brother man back. Check this out. This is where it all started. I'm your man. So we got a couple of minutes. How are you feeling? Feeling good, my man. I, I love listening to you speak there. You're, you're, uh, you're good at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've done it for a couple of years now. I guess so. I guess I guess you got some experience under that belt. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Mum first started to talk, uh, teach me how to talk when I was young. <laughs> well, that's always a good thing. Yeah, I haven't shut up since. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I wish my had to. <laughs> uh, well, my mum taught me a lot of things, but she wouldn't allow me to be a drummer. Ah, uh, well, my brother was a drummer. You know, he was he was the first my drummer in my first band when I was a kid. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I got kicked out of the kitchen because I was playing the pots and breaking all the wooden spoons and stuff. That was it. That's my my whole career done right there. Did yeah, you start breaking mom's kitchenware? You know, it's a problem. Yeah, it is. It really is. Especially when you see, mum was a um, a professional chef. Oh, was she? Yeah. Okay, well, well, she now was. Even, even more yeah, yeah, she was. She passed a number of years ago, but uh, believe me, she used to work, um, she used to cook for ministers and prime ministers. Wow. Mm. So she was quite the chef then, it sounds like. Yeah, she was, and she had, tell you what, I hated going to work with her because I saw a different kind of mum. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hi, Joan. <laughs> I saw the professional chef no bullshit around mum, you know. Scared the hell out of me. Yeah, right, yeah. Had to be on the bar. I bet you, you must have, you must have ate really well growing up. Though. Oh yeah, hell yeah, absolutely. And she tried to make me a chef. That's why I'm skinny. I won't do it. <laughs> yeah, uh, ra radio and music were calling to you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Believe me, anything away from food or explosives. True. My father was an <laughs> my father was an explosives expert. Gotta be, gotta be careful in both of those. In both yeah, well, you, <laughs> believe me, you can explode from both of those as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. 
<laughs> Gay Miranda's on board. Hello, Gay. How are you, my friend? Nice to have you coming out of Norway. It's a real pleasure to see you again, my friend. <laughs> to have everybody back again it really really is and today i'm really really supercharged because a good friend of ours is dropping on by he's uh, uh i think he's waiting for a ferry whoever he is you never know uh but <laughs> is it too late to say happy new year my friend it's never too late to say happy new year happy new year to you guys yeah believe me it is an absolute pleasure to have you back again and uh well you know something it's been, you know, a little bit between drinks, but I tell you what, the wait was worth waiting for. Hey, it's always worth it when I get to talk to you guys. Last time we did this for the first time, I had so much fun, and uh, when I had, uh, you know, some new uh, things to share here with you, I thought, well, let's see if we can do this again. I'm so glad we're making it work today. Well, you, you know something, I'm supercharged, because, uh, believe me, uh, it's, it's good to catch up with you as well, and, uh, well, you never know, I might crack out a joke or two. It might happen. <laughs> it has been known to happen. <laughs> in the past. Happen, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just one of those uh, occupational hazards around here. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and believe me, uh, somebody accused me of having dad jokes the other day. Oh. Well, that's okay because I'm a granddad. That doesn't qualify. How do you know you're a granddad? <laughs> well, I'm, a, I'm a dad, so we'll, we'll see what you come up with. Well, okay. Yeah, let's try. You can tell this to your kids. You really, really can. Uh, why did the turkey cross the road? Why did the turkey cross the road? I don't know why, Grant. Why did the turkey cross the road? Prove he wasn't chicken. <laughs> I really like that. I actually really like that joke. I'm going to tell that. I'm going to tell that to lots of kids over here in Canada and to my son too. Yeah, yeah, do that. Do that. Believe me, I, I, I know. I know a little chicken joke. Can I reply to your joke with a little chicken joke? A absolutely. Poultry on me. All right, what well, in response to yours, um, do you want to know why I like chicken so much? Tell me. Because. Oh, uh, corny. <laughs> corny. Yeah, we'll, we'll scratch that. But I'll tell you what, we won't tell them, you know, we need the eggs or anything like that. <laughs> It'll be fine, you know. Uh, birds of a feather, <laughs> literally. Uh, at least we're not gobbling on that one. Uh, having said that, <laughs> having said that, Ryan, so, so good to catch up with you again. Now, uh, we kicked this off with I'm your man. I, I think we mm -hmm. need to refresh our audio audience's mind. Tell us more about this track again. And, and you know, let's not forget about a particular billboard that uh, you happen to be a part of. Absolutely, yeah. Thanks for asking. Well, you know, back... Uh over a decade ago, I mean, I was uh, raised in Canada on a farm here and had a lot of music growing up. I had a sibling band, and um, after I uh, graduated school, I heard about Nashville in Tennessee, which is the, the country music capital pretty much in the world, as, I, as you know. So uh, I made a trip down to Nashville, fell in love with uh, the music of that city, and I ended up moving there and, and uh, spent many years there. And after I'd been there for a little while, though, I, I found it pretty quick. Well, there's thousands of brand new, up and coming singers, songwriters like myself that go to Nashville from all over the world. People from New Zealand or Canada, like myself, or anywhere in the world, really, that want to music business as a as a song or that kind. Of, and I was thinking, well, how can I just sort of? I want to get a record deal, you know, so that I could uh, get some exposure from my music. I was trying to accomplish that goal. That's something unique. I thought about it for a while, and then one day I just I came up with this idea uh, that you were referencing there earlier. And what I did was I rented out a huge billboard in Nashville. I should say I got some support from the billboard company because it would have been too expensive otherwise to do it. 
but uh, but they liked the idea and helped me out with it. And we uh, I got this this billboard made up and it had a big picture of me on it, holding a note to a certain music star that was raised in Nashville and is from there with her family named Taylor Swift. And uh, and it had a picture of me on the billboard holding this big sign and it said hey taylor i love your music will you help me produce my album ryan laird and it had a link to my website on there with had some of my songs on it this was before you know uh spotify and you know all those kind of things were as popular as they are now so uh and you know what i didn't know what would happen grant i thought i'm gonna put this thing up in nashville it's across the road from her recording her recording label office big machine records and i just thought I'll see what happens. Maybe maybe they'll laugh at me, or maybe they'll give me a shot in Nashville, you know? And uh, I think sometimes you got to be a little outside of the box and put yourself out there when you want to make a goal come true like that, like I did in Nashville with my music. And uh, what can I say? It worked out great. I mean, uh, two weeks after the billboard was up, I got contacted on Facebook, and uh, somebody sent me a link to an interview of Taylor Swift on a big mainstream television interview she did on national media. And the interviewer had asked her about this Canadian guy that had been booked up this billboard to her and what she thought about it and she said that uh she listened to my music and she thought it was great and it would be awesome to maybe work together and i'll tell you as soon as she gave me that endorsement uh the former got off the hook I, I was getting record uh meetings with record companies in nashville and lots of things happened it all took some time but eventually that song i'm your man you know was it was my first single and uh went top 10 over here in uh, canada and i was off to the races after that. You know, uh, that's a fairy tale story, really, it is. Uh, Ballsy, all the way through that, love, love, love that story. Every time he tells it to me, I absolutely love it. I really, really do. Uh, Eileen, and, and tell me about this, because this has been much anticipated. Uh, we're going to release it 2022, and, and this is fantastic. I love this track. So give me the skinny on this, right? Well, thanks a lot. You know, um, during the whole pandemic thing, uh, I uh, I started up my own home-based recording studio. I've been a, a singer, a guitar player, a performer, a songwriter for many years. And being a music producer is something I've always been passionate about and something that I really wanted to expand myself as a creative artist in. And uh, so I had an extra time when I wasn't touring on the road, because normally I've, I've toured a lot. But uh, the last few years, you know, I've had an opportunity to be around home more. So I thought, well, I'm going to really focus on my music production. And I got a home studio, and I've been recording a lot of music and writing a lot of new music. And, uh, you know, a few months back, I, I, I was sitting on the bench at home, and I pulled out my acoustic guitar. And I'll tell you, it only took me about 45 minutes. And I got into this emotional kind of headspace, and, and I ended up writing this song that, you know, you're going to debut here, my brand new single called Eileen. And I just wrote it bare bones with an acoustic guitar, and it felt really passionate and really good. And, um, you know, it's kind of a collection of, um, I mean, it started with the melody. I got this beautiful melody in my head, and then it, it, it kind of all came together with all my past, you know, past relationships I've had um, uh, and, and, and periods in my life where I, when, I've, when I felt love and things like that. And it just kind of was a collection of those best moments. And, uh, and I was sitting there using that inspiration to write this song. And also how I envision myself in the future. Like what would, and, and I wanted the listener to be able to feel that way when they listen to the song, too. Like, how could you, what would feel amazing to you in your life if you were with that someone? Or maybe you already are in your life and you want to reflect on it. And, um, you know, and let this song help you get to that spot. Now, I, I got a young lady coming out of Knoxville. Her name is Sandy. She's asking Ryan... Are you planning on touring our way? And, and what's she out of again? She's in Knoxville. Oh, in Knoxville. I love Knoxville. So that's not too far from Nashville in, Tennessee, in the state of Tennessee. And, uh, yeah, I will definitely come back to Knoxville. Um, you know, right now I'm still up in Canada, and we're just waiting for a few things to come together here. But uh, I look forward to uh, to coming back to Knoxville. I've been there before. I love going to Knoxville. So the best, the best way to find is, I mean, my website... I have my tour dates, ryanlaird.com, or uh, I always put them up on social media, so keep watching for when I come. Absolutely, my friend. you got to watch those guys in the Appalachians. They, they're a little weird down there, don't, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they well, I, I love them there. I mean, I always have a lot of fun going there. When I was living in Nashville full-time before I relocated back to Canada, I used to make some trips down to Knoxville, and then we had a ball. Now, I know you're heading over to the island. I, I know that, uh, Vancouver Island, but down there... As well, uh, much like the island over there, uh, apparently have Sasquatch. Sasquatch, you know, I haven't had the uh, 
the surprise or the honor of, uh, of, of running into one yet, so I guess I'm going to have to watch it for next time. Yeah, but they have all sorts of strains of these things. It's kind of weird. They've got all sorts of names for them, I've got to be honest with you. I've uh, been watching a few hillbilly shows from out there, and, and oh my gosh, Really, uh, and I was talking to uh, Chris Andreas, of course, coming from Vancouver Island, and he, when we're going over there to meet up with Chris, uh, we're going out Sasquatch hunting as well, you know what I mean? You know, I'm just kind of scared if we catch one, is it going to cost me an extra seat on the plane home? <laughs> well, you guys give me a call when you come, because I want to be there with my video camera to film that, all right? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Uh, well, actually, I tell you what, we'll throw you in. We might bring our own TV crew, you know, from Rise Up TV, something like that. Yeah, if Rise Up's going to be there and you guys are going to be there, I definitely want to be there. And, uh, you know, uh, I just hope you guys don't try to make me the bait, you know, or something, because um, oh. I'd rather be, you know, kind of behind the scenes watching this whole thing happen. Oh, come on. It's only fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it gives you a purpose now. Maybe I'd make a good snack for a Sasquatch. I don't know, but... Don't worry about it. We'll get there before he lays hands on you. know, you'll be fine. Yeah. All right. We'll give you a couple of extra two, uh, beers or something like that. Uh, Sean well, said, that would be possible. Yeah, believe me. You know, give me a couple of extra beers on anybody. So I am. Uh, Sean Simpson's watching. Nice to have you on board, Sean. Welcome back again. And, uh, of course, today we've <clears throat> just covered Eileen and... Where it's come from, I think the uh, the quick songs literally have longevity. They really, really do. You know, I talk to people they say, "Grant wrote it on a McDonald's napkin while I was having a meal," and uh, it's ended up being the best song we got. I think Eileen has that same feel about it. Here's Ryan Laird, brain spanking new song, Eileen at Galaxy. I really do like this. In fact, I've got to be honest with you, Ron, i got it playing in my car. Yeah? Yeah, believe me, I, I, when I go home from work and stuff, I listen to a bit of Brian. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Well, thank you. I, I'm, uh, you know, I, it was a quick write, as you just noted there, and, uh, and I think you're completely right, because sometimes when you don't have to think about something too much, and it just kind of, it kind of writes itself, like it just comes out of you. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And that's what happened on this song. I, I kid you not. That's what happened. I just, it just kind of wrote itself, and I and I was the I was the guy that got to hold the pencil. <laughs> Genius. I, I think it's a uh, potential work of art. I really do. Thank you so much. I hear that means a lot to me. Thank you. And, and you know, well, Ryan, I speak to so many artists and songwriters and performers, and well, you know, this one stands out. And as I say to you, I got you playing in my car. Not too many artists make that file. You know what I'm saying? Hey, well, uh, like I said, I mean, I don't know what to say other than that does mean a lot to me. And I, I had the feeling with this song, you know, I've been writing songs for over a couple decades now. I've written a lot of songs and I just, that's why I wanted to put the song out because I had that kind of that emotional slash magical feeling from it, you know, and um, it just, it just, gives my i get a, i get a kind of a pins and needles in my stomach when i listen to it and so i just thought well that's probably a good thing you know those are the ones that last you know what i mean <laughs> they really are i but do know what you mean yeah. you can transpire that stuff to the crowd sure. in all medias from stage personally to the crowd right across mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. hear that in it they really don't believe me as an engineer that's what i listen for a lot of the time is how it's mm -hmm. sung if it's meant to be sung you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep, I do know exactly what you mean, and uh, you know, so I'm, I'm I feel really good about this one. I hope the listeners are enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it, and I, I thank you guys for. I mean, this is a brand new one, so you guys are one of the first to, you know, really debut it here. So I'm really glad about that, and I hope that everybody enjoys it over there. <clears throat> How many countries this morning? Three hundred and twenty-one. Okay, cool. Uh, Three hundred and twenty-one countries tuned in right now. Wow, well, that's, that's not we're, bad. Get, we're getting Eileen out there today. <laughs> <laughs> we are global, bro. Right? We are. <laughs>
That's right. You're right. Here we go. It's the 107 FM. Uh, Sean Simpson, thank you. Uh, you rock as well. You really do. And, of course, releasing Ryan's brand spanking new song, Yes, Eileen. Absolutely love it. Uh, as I said, I've got him playing in my car. Yes, I do. I'm your man. Uh, Girl Crazy, absolutely rock. Girl Crazy and Eileen. Believe me, some of the best music that my stereo has ever heard is Ryan Laird. Go and check him out. But in the meantime, Ryan, we are going to have to move on. Don't go anywhere just yet, but we've got to do this. Another Indie Artist Interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music to watch it. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music The Orchard. Thank you for joining us. Don't go anywhere because very, very shortly we're catching up with another good friend of ours just after 11 o'clock. Yes, you're going to love it. You really are. But in the meantime, have a very happy and successful day. See you soon. Galaxy 107 FM.